this is NX2312 and we're going to do a multi-body uh, topology optimization. And that's a bit more work than on the monobody because you have to define the connections. And okay, this and we do course and then it speeds up the optimization process. Still the same, we have to get rid of these uh, red exclamation marks to let this one disappear and then we can press optimize. Um, and we have a study. Oh, this one. Um, and it, we study how we did uh, maximum stiffness. Okay, that we did correct. Um, then we gonna define the three def um, design spaces. Right mouse button, click new. And this material is gonna be library material because you have to select that also. Okay, and then the next one is get new this one. And we're gonna create that with titanium. Okay, and then the third one get new is this one and that will take steel so we can select okay. Um, now the optimization constraints get new. Um, we go into mass target. Um, this is 0.35. And then we go to this one. Okay, new. This is 40 grams. And okay, new. And that's, so we make that a little bit bigger, 1.8, and we do an extra um, displacement limit. And we gonna select two points on this face. This point, apply, oh yeah, I, this is not the default value, I put that in a previous, uh, trial attempt. Okay. There. Okay. Um, hmm. I see that I did. I want to do this in the Y direction. Okay. And also add it in the Y direction. Okay. Um, then now connections on the first scenery body. There's no uh, um, exclamation mark, but you have to do that. And I select these so they come all steel. That's good enough for me. Then we define connections. This is a bit tricky because uh, you have to get here a thickness and uh, we'll try to figure it out. We, I select this, and then I select this, and this is, let me see, yeah, this is correct, because if I do this, this becomes bigger, so that's the shell. This is what I want. Okay. Then I go to the next one. This, this, and this is bonding with this is oh, okay. Okay, then we the next one we select this one and this one. Is that okay? Yeah, that's one millimeter. Okay. And then we select this and this one that's also one millimeter, that's okay. Then we select new connection. This, this. Okay, this is not what I want. Instead of going 
yeah, and this is okay. And then we select this. Oh, sorry. Shift select. We select new connection. Here. Here. Yeah, that's one millimeter, so that's good. Okay, um, this is now six done. Then we'll go to analysis constraints, create new, and first we select a pin, offset three minutes, okay. And what is now the explanation mark disappears. But that's strange because this is not sufficiently constrained. It can be turning around, so there's no check if the six degrees of freedoms are suppressed. So uh, I know, so I have to do a new one. And I'm doing a, sli a linear slider here. Now this thickness offset gives uh, make the, these uh, two points for the displacement I gave in uh, feasible and the linear slider is indeed in y direction so that's correct and um, then we're gonna do create new a load and we apply a dead load and we're gonna use point to point, from here to here, okay, um, then everything is, seems to be correct, no exclamation marks, uh, and then we go going to, uh, what I'm first going to do, we never know, I'm going to finish, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going back and I'm going to optimize it and okay then the normal uh, message because I have no proper GPU so that is working on uh, uh, the CPU I'm going to pause this for a while because the first iteration is gone, so the next will be uh, follow. You can see it's iterating a bit. I see that the results are nice to stop. Okay, the mass is not taken, so I'm going to stop here. And then it uh, takes uh, 15 seconds that uh, the path is created. It seems low weight. That's what it seems to me. And the waiting is always long. Or oh, it's even a little bit more. Oh, yeah, 24 seconds. Okay, um, let's see what uh, this created. Okay, yeah, with this, uh, the, these demands were not uh, that strict uh, concerning the mass. It could be a little bit uh, less. And okay, it seems that some material is pointed to that way to get. The displacement here within 0.3 millimeters. So let's see what the results are. Then you go to show result. We first go to have the displacement. Okay, um, there's one spe uh, thing, it's sure. Uh, let me see result label. Label. 
this is not 0.3, but that is the total displacement of the part. If you want the total displacement, then you have to do some. If you want the total displacement to be 0.3, then you have to do some tricks uh, with the simulation and make it more one part. Because if you go to, uh, you remove these from the parts. Let me see the so the scenery. This is my bottom one that I need. This and this height. Then your label is I don't know where it I you see it's near point three or point three. So it is local. So um you can see uh, let me see result report design space all three. You can see what they made of it and optimized stiffness and displacement here. Yeah. And let's see how the, oh, the stresses are. Stress apply. Um, they, are, they appear and these should as the other one here. That's strange that they move things. So um, this is the overview of all parts in it. So if you remove this one, apply. Okay, then the maximum value is somewhere other. Normally, it. Uh, okay, here, here can be spots. It's forty-six. So. So here now what we can do is uh, I'll see what if we hide this. Yes, I see the, the values this a, a bit and we can not see the body. Yeah, you see now it's the total height of the visible part shown. So we will show it again. Okay, mass targets. Mass target between mass targets. Okay. This is. I have no result for other ones, so that's. And give for mass target to design space to results and admission rules. Okay. You see here we did not do any tricks to get uh, the shell values like here. Um, this is was the. This is the end of this uh, the example of design spaces. Thank you for your time.